Hi, this is David from your PSD Studios, and today I'm going to show you how to make a simple application with ChatGPT, Visual Studio, and WPF. Let's get started. So I have a blank WPF window project opened up, and I'm going to use it to make a program that will show you your device name and will show you how much hard drive space you have left. To get started, we're just going to double click and drag a button onto the screen. I'm going to change that button to say, show me. Simple enough. We're going to rename the button to button show. And we are going to go to the events and set up a click event. So as you can see, we have our button show click event. We're going to copy that. We're going to head over to ChatGPT and we're going to tell ChatGPT exactly what we want to do. Let me type this out for you. I want All right, so what I typed in was I want to make an application in WPF that will show me my system name and how much hard drive space I have on all hard drives when I click a button named Button Show. This is the code I have, and then I pasted in the code for Button Show Click Event. And let's see what ChatGPT comes up with. All right. So, as you can see, it displayed everything that we need. It has a lot of details that kind of go over everything that you're going to need to do with it. But for time's purposes, we're going to go ahead and copy this and paste it up at the top next to our other using statements. We are going to grab the get system info code that ChatGPT provided us with. And we are going to make that right underneath our button show. And then we are going to grab the button show code, which just sends a message over to the get system info. And we are going to highlight our previous button show click event and paste over it. Now, as you can see, we have some errors inside of here. We can fix those by hovering over them until we see show potential fixes. And then you're going to click on using system in this case. For this one, we will go hover over that using system IO. For this one, we will hover over that using system.txt. So as you can see, all of our errors cleared up. We don't have anything wrong here anymore. So let's run the code. All right, so here's our application. When I click show me, it shows my computer name, PSD laptop my C drive and how much space I have on it and free space, my D drive and my E drive. And all of those are correct. And it's that fast, that simple. You can work with WPF and with ChatGPT to make almost anything that you want to make with it. You just have to make sure that you're very specific with what you're writing to it. You want to give it as much information as you can so you get the best result that you can. And if you do run into errors like we had before, you can always go over to your error list, copy the error, and then paste it into ChatGPT, and it will tell you exactly why you got the error, which would end up giving us all of this code right here that we needed to add at the top. And that's it. Hope that helps. If you learned something, hit like, hit subscribe, share content with others, and check back later for more amazing videos. Thank you.